engineers in this video let us quickly go through a small part of column design with rcdc we move on to see how the optimized design setting affects the actual design of the column here in the rcdc column file when we go to settings design settings we have an option over here of optimized design on selection of which rcdc will design the column all the columns with an optimized section or the optimized or economic design in simple words so now we have selected the optimized design option let us see after auto design how it actually affects and we will also compare it when we do not select the optimized design option so over here these are the results after the auto run let us just mark what are, what is the design for column c1 over here we see that the design is 20 t12 for level 0 to 4.2 4.2 to 7.858 and 7.85 to 12.058 it's 20 t12 and the last level that is from 12.058 to 16.258 it's 12 t 16 plus 18 t 12 these are the results when we have selected the optimized design option now let us again unlock this model just go to settings design settings and deselect this option now auto run the file and see what happens to the design when we have not selected the dis optimized design option so now over here when we track the same column for all the levels the top three levels have has the same design of 20 t 12 whereas the last level that is 12.058 to 16.258 the steel provided is 20 t 16 for optimized design option the results were 20 16 and 80 12 whereas when we will compare it with the non-optimized design option 20 t 16 so over here we can see itself that 20 t 16 and 12 t 16 and 80 12 makes a great difference in the quantification purpose so that's all about the optimized design its option and its impact on the column design let us now see how odd shape for columns can be assigned in rc uh, to, so to start with let us see how it can be done i over here i have two columns c1 and c2 uh, when i select this column and right click i have got select shape option over here on which i have got a drop down list for uh, n number of types of shapes which are possibly uh, assigned to a column let us start with say a c-shaped column over here i see that i have to assign all these parameters which are reflected here over here in the drawing so for df1 let us say if i input 600 mm df1 is this which i say 200 for df2 again i say 600 200 600 and 200 any desirable shape can be given to it i say okay so here i see that a c shape column is assigned okay similarly for c2 let us now try say sd shaped of column okay so before starting with this are the, this is a grid spacing which is 25 mm i can increase it to 100 mm okay and i say enter so now i can very much clearly see uh, the grid spacing i go from here to here i go here here i go back here on right clicking i say close so this is the shape of my column or any desired shape can be drawn over here i say okay so over here we see that uh, two shaped which we have tried can be assigned to a column when we click on c2 we can see the properties over here in the column size for c1 it is c600 by 600 when i change this in rcdc uh, I, we feel that uh, this needs also to be changed in um, analysis file so for doing not doing or not repeating the work what we have a we have an additional feature over here which says update the analysis file so when we go to file update the analysis file it will say the analysis file is updated with the revision r0 and the path is this 
so when we go to start and open the new file created we can just check whether the columns are actually um, be have actually become um, c shaped or the shape that we have assigned to it or not so when i do this i will just see yeah so where this were the two columns which we had changed the shape of in rcdc now if i select only these two columns and i see them in elevation okay and i can also see in tools create user table upt1 i say view property so this is the c shaped column with the properties over here and these are my coordinates similarly we can see for upt2 see the shape is actually formed over here and the properties over here are assigned in this way we see that whatever changes physical changes are made to a column or any other element can be by itself uh, updated in the analysis file without going to analysis file updating it manually next jumping over to the pedestal design for the steel structures wherein pedestals can be designed for any industrial building which is made of the steel structures so let us start from just importing the file that is the steel structure file in rcdc let us select the file and run it in the column and wall module say create new project so on the screen we can see that rcdc has extracted the locations of the steel columns that are present in the analysis file and has assigned the sizes of the pedestal in reference to or in accordance with the size of the steel columns that are present in the structure the pedestal data for each column over here is reflected over here so the these are the pedestal sizes for each of the steel columns for the setting of pedestal data we have an additional setting over here in settings pedestal data wherein we have to input the base plate size the pedestal size the bolt diameter and the number of bolts along b and d of the base plates these are the steel section column properties which are extracted from the analysis file the base plate file then depends upon the member offset or the offset that is provided for base plate from the steel member and corresponding to the base plate size is dependent the pedestal size which is also dependent on the offset provided to pedestal from the base plate so once the base plate size is determined say let's it's 450 by 450 the pedestal size changes depending upon the offset provided to the base plate once the base plate and the pedestal sizes are determined we would now look into how the number of bolts and the diameter of the bolt can be determined for a given base plate size let us change the diameter of bolt to say 20 and say let this be 10 so if the number of bolt doesn't fit for a given base plate size it will tell you the exact numbers minimum and the maximum numbers which can which can fit into the base plate for a given diameter of the bolt so here the range is 2 to 8 let's say it's 8 and 8 only for the given base plate size once this is set let's say okay and let us now auto run the file all the other settings of basic load cases determining the basic load cases and the load combinations will remain same as that for the other modules once the auto run of the file is done uh, we can just check how the how this pedestal data can be exported for creating the foundation for such type of pedestals Uh, before jumping over to exporting of pedestal data to foundation let me quickly explain you how the pedestal self weight and other forces are carried on to the bottom of the pedestal so here we go to the design calculation of a column say c1 wherein we will see the analysis forces that are brought to the bottom here we have analysis forces at bottom joint where pu is the force at the top that is 69.84 which matches here this is pu due to self weight 
so this is the 27.3 is a sulfate of the pedestal and pu final is the addition of pu at the top joint plus pu due to sulfate that is a sulfate of the pedestal which turns out to be 97.14 which is calculated just uh, calculating the pu uh, area or the volume of this block into the density of the concrete so we just saw that how pu final is calculated Similarly, when we have shear V of X and Y in two directions, we have to add them to the existing moment in X and Y direction. So multiplying the individual shears by pedestal height, we can achieve mo final moments in X and Y direction respectively. So this is how the top joint forces on a pedestal are taken to the bottom joint and further they are used in the design. Now we can quickly jump over to how we can export the pedestal data to, for creation of pedestal foundation and for doing this we need to go to file say create footing design after giving this command to the program a new RCDC file will be created for the foundation of these pedestals. So over here we see that a new foundations file is created for this folder. Once the RCDC file for the pedestal foundation is created, we would run the foundation file in the same way as that we are running it for regular foundation. Once the auto run for the pedestal foundation is finished, let us see how uh, it can be reflected in the drawing. Say for C5, when we go to reports, we go to detail drawing and select FC1 for plan and section along L and B. Say OK. This file is created wherein we can see the number of bolts entered, the base plate size, the pedestal, the section and the other foundation data that is reflected. Here in section 2 we can see the bolts in the section, the grouting done, the base plate, the pedestal, the foundation, everything, every detail that is required for, uh, for a pedestal data. So in this way, we see that how a pedestal can be designed for a steel, uh, steel structure. Also, foundation for the same pedestal can be designed. Drawing with the actual steel section, its base plate, its grouting, its pedestal and the foundation with section and plan is created. So uh, here, this is all about the pedestal design, it's detailing the pedestal foundation design, it's detailing the drawings generated. Thank you.